presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're... With your gold report, you just printed money. I love it. Uh, you're my best dad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. Now. Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF. Already, folks, short uh, week, man. Got a, and then they get a long week next week, right? A regular week next week. But then the next week, hey, guess what? July 4th, man. Be impeccable with your word. Express your love. Impeccability of the word can be measured by a level of self-love. If you love yourself, you'll express that love in the interactions with others, and that action will create a like reaction. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 236. NASDAQ off 145. S&P's down 36. Gold. Gold contract up $7, trading at 19.30 an ounce. We have silver down 4 cents, $22.63 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 32 cents. $69.19 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up 9 ticks, trading 113.01. The 30-year up 27 ticks at 127.27 and king dollar. King dollar's up 521 ticks, trading at 102.907. The euro is at 108. The yen is at 143, and the British pound is at 127 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. This is going to be a tricky market coming into this close, particularly because coming into Friday, we are coming into the weekend, rather, so, when we just did this update, take a look at this S&P, and here's the number. I think we already closed above it. Yeah, it's, it's 43.84. So, you get to 43.87. What time is it? Yep. So, you get a rejection of lower price and you have lighter volume, folks. So that's, that's saying this market's going to try to charge into the close. And, you know, I know that's quite a call because the reality is it's a Friday and the market's been down. But that being said... What's going to happen here is that you can see on the S&P, you get 38,000 contracts versus 84,000. That is a big number, folks. That's, that's, that's a big number. And the NQs, NQs, NQs. So we take a look at the NQs. We do the same type of exercise inside the NQs. Now, see, the NQs didn't even get to the lows. And the NQs, by the way, led this morning. That's what they did. They were down hard, but let me show you what the NQs did. So, and this is, I, if, you, if you follow me on Twitter, um, when I sent out that deal about you're going to get popped off this bottom, um, where I was coming from was this. Now, watch this. So, this morning, when we had come down, you, you, right off the bat, we did 23,000 contracts, okay? Now, the, well, the 10-minute bar before that, right, it uh, was... 29,000. Now we did 23, but guess what? You're going against 38. That was the test of 10 o'clock in the morning of June of yesterday. Yeah, of yesterday. That's the bottom line. So you got the, you know, your, your volume characteristic was much less. You got the rejection of lower price, and that says, guess what? You want to go higher. Now, if we pull this back a little, pull this this way. Uh, 
let's go this way first. So this is where I can go this way and kind of now shake it out here. Now look at this. Okay, so this is just the opposite. Now this is what you do inside time in the trade. See this when we made a high out here? You got a high. Today this is. You had 7,176 contracts, right? Well, guess what? When you pin this on this side, well, that was going against 18,000. That's why you get, the, you get the run up. Now you got the test with lighter volume. Now the bottom line is I suspect you're gonna get a little, little push higher into the close because that would be the most deviant thing the market could actually did, do because we just flushed out the close. I mean, just flushed out the market, basically. You know, we, we broke the lows. You know, it was fast and furious. Let me pull this up and see on the... Now, hit that. that was the NASDAQ I was just doing. So this here is your S&P. So you can see that was 84,000 contracts. And here's the, here's the, see that top? The top was 36, but yet the 36... Ah, see, this is pretty cool, actually. The 36 was taking out the 36, you know, but that's, that's also saying, so if you get 36 to 36, what that's also saying, once you get this rejection, say, hey, man, but there's no reason I can't go right back there. <laughs> so this is going to be a wild close, man. That's, like, you know. And the weekly op option expiration is definitely different. Um, you know, it's just there's going to be a lot of weekly options. There's still plenty of people that basically don't play the daily options, and they play the weeklies. We go into the gold contract. Now, this is where it's going to get interesting because what we do have is that you had two separate ABC structures down. If you do get the gold report, you know I did an update out here. We had a buy out here this morning. Um, you know, my take is that more than likely this correction has ended. Even though that you have an ABC structure down to 1902, it looks to me that what has happened is that you, you came into the March, let's see, March, what is that, March 10th? I got this on a weekly or daily. No, March 3rd, let's see. Yeah, March 10th, March 11th. You know, you have lighter volume here. You know, this could take a while. I, 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 well, let's do the GDX and see if the GDX works the same way. So if we take a look at the GDX, no, that hasn't held price. But the GDX is coming into... Uh, 63 million shares at $29.36. And yesterday you got down to $29.53. You had light volume. So this will mess around a, a bit, but I suspect that we, we're, we're at a low. That's where, that's where my head's going. And then if we go into the dollar and we take a look at the dollar, what the dollar did out here today is it got up to Fast and Furious, it got up to 103, 166. And then, you know, you just, baby, you, you pull back pretty quick, man, you know? Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now, Dow Industrials trading uh, down 213, NASDAQ's off 130, S&P's off 33, we'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials uh, trading uh, down 219. ASX off 127. S&Ps are off 32. If we go inside the NDX and we take a look at the strength versus the weakness there, you get, uh, well, I'm not used to this one. What is this? Oh, Costa. Oh, Costa, man. Costa. This is interesting. So Costa is up 1%. You have uh, Constellation Brands up 1%. Ross Stores is up almost one, and Intel's up uh, eight tenths. Taken away from it, you get JD.com down f almost five percent. Pinduoduo is down four and a half, and you got uh, Lucid uh, down four. Inside the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Let's put this up point wise. So you got the three main movers. Well, it's only really one. <laughs> Visa has put nine positive points. Merck, th three, and Intel, one. Taken away from it, there's no big numbers here. There's just, there's a lot of uh, red, but they're small numbers. You get uh, Goldman, minus 29, Microsoft, minus 24, Caterpillar, minus 23. Let's go over and take a look at uh, some of the higher volume equities out here. And Tesla's always seem to be at the top of it now. Oh, look at it, it's not. Okay, so Intel's at the top of it today. Um, you got uh, Microsoft down 375. Procter and Gamble's off a of buck 87. What the heck is Tesla? Tesla, that's interesting. TSLA. Okay, so if we take a look at Tesla. A sideways move. I say, look at this. You know, it's wild. You got you got Tesla down eight dollars, seven fifty, but it really is a sideways move. I mean, compared to, you know, it's just because the move. Higher has been so extraordinary. There's no, there's, that's, that's a sideways movement. Uh, NVIDIA, NVDA, we take a look at NVIDIA. And what do you have with NVIDIA? Same setup. That's down five and a half dollars, but look like it, it hasn't looked like it even moved. Look at that. Isn't that wild? That is wild, man. Silver, let's go take a look at the silver market. What's happening with silver right now? Okay, you don't have a clean rejection of lower price out here. So silver got the 2234. You're at 2264. You're coming into this huge sign of strength, though. That, the, the sign of strength was 2239 at the top. See this one right here? So when you set this up, you can see, you know, that bar there, and that was the 10th, right? March 13th. It's March 13th. Um, we put the volumes under here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I get a lot of volume, but let me do the SLV because what, what does happen is that when we 
put the futures up, of course, what ends up happening is that they're expiring every, you know, three months. So, yeah, you're coming into, you're coming into 29 million and you've done 17 yesterday. If we do the weeklies, you're coming into 174 million versus 72. Now, what we haven't got here, even on the weekly, you know, if, if we just looked at the volume, it'd be like, hey, man, you know, you could start stepping into this market in the silver market. I just wouldn't do it yet in the silver market just yet because you, you just don't have that rejection of lower price. The Aniko Eagle, let's go over and take a look at Aniko Eagle. That's that moving. Okay, so you can see Aniko Eagle, that was coming into 9.4 million and 1.8. Nine, it did. If you go to Barrick and take a look at Barrick, same setup. With Barrick, you know, you're coming into 22 versus 13 on the daily. If we do the weekly, you're coming into 87. Versus 66, yeah, this is cool. Let me show you this one. This is this is a real trip, this one, man. So if you go like this, and you're putting it, you, see, you know, when we, came up, when we came off the lows, you had come off the, I'm talking about the lows that go back all the way to last November. You come off the lows, you come off pretty good. On, on a weekly basis, we did 123 million. Then we came back and tested that with 87. We tested that and went, it was at $15. It goes all the way up to 22. Now we just tested that with 66. So the correlation, you go 66, 87, 123. That's saying that the way this is set up is that we should be able to get back up to those highs. So when I look at some of these, it's telling me that, you know, this baby, this, correction that we've been is going to basically either stop, slow down, go sideways, do all the above. The um, XAU, HUI, if we take a look at the XAU right now, same type of setup. You're going to see it, that bars, these bars down at the, you know, December, no, March 10th and March 13th are crucial, folks, because XAU right now is 118.23. Now, that would be nice if it would be 119. <laughs> Real nice, actually. Uh, because 119.05 is really the number that you'd like to see it above. Oh, right there's all right. 118. Yeah, 118. Yeah, it's still higher. 118.75 is still the number. That's on the XAU, on the HUI. Put the volume in here. What's the bottom here? That's 229.56, yeah. On, on the gold, now this is cool to understand, folks. So when the gold contract itself wants higher price, normally you do see the HUI be a little bit stronger than the XAU. And you can see what happened here. This, this, this hit perfectly for a, basically out of the timing of the trade. You know, we came down on Tuesday. You hit 229.15. The strength, the bottom of the strength was, I mean, hold on, uh, 229. Yeah, 229.15. The bottom of the strength is 229.50. And you're above it. And the volume is 117 million versus 15 million. That's a monster contraction of volume. So we'll see where this baby shakes out. That's the, that's the bottom line. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be intriguing, you know. And what has happened the last couple of days is that, you know, like today, you have gold up 710, yet 
the dollar is up 526. So yesterday and today, that correlation, you know, just hasn't been there. Meaning, you know, with the, well, it's, it's been there with the aspect, meaning the dollar up 527, the market coming down. Uh, but it hasn't hit gold. You can see that gold rejected lower price today at 19.1950. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 229, NASDAQ off 138, S&P's off 35. We'll come right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 227. The Nasdaq's off 133. S&Ps are off 35. And let's go over and took a look at notes and bonds. Notes and bonds might take folks who want they want higher price, lower yield. Um, now we had a nice pop out here this morning. Okay, 1.4 million. See, still that's still not enough volume. Watch this for a second. So you get a sideways move happening out here. You know we've been in the same place now for what seven, eight trading days, and. Yeah, 1.4 million contracts, not bad, but you can see if you're looking at the bottom of my screen, um, bottom line is that in order to get to higher price, you need, you need more demand. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. 
Uh, the reason I'm saying that I, my take is we're going higher because just like the gold contract and just like the S&P and NASDAQ this morning, it was going into its strength. And its strength in the note and bond market go back to the uh, trading day of, uh, what day is that? Oh, that's weird. It's the same day. Same day. Now, this is where it gets interesting. See, the same day, it goes back to the, tw to the 10th of March. And it makes sense. Let's go take a look at the U.S. I'll do the 30 U.S. One second. Let me see this. U.S. Okay, so we put the 30 up here. The 30 is almost 300,000. That's a little bit better. Let me look at this. Yeah, same deal, though. Same deal. You're going to need more. And then let's just put the TLT up. So the TLT is the 20 plus, meaning that they're, yeah, it's going to be a little bit more too, but it, it, it's holding price. This is interesting with the TLT. You see what's going on here with the TLT? It's getting above its range. The trading range in the TLT, the top of the range is actually uh, 103.63. We hit 103.95 today. Now it's hanging up there, which is, which is positive. It would have been a lot better if we get more than 19.1 million, though. But my take on the, the same with the TLT, this baby wants higher price. That's how this thing is laying out right now. We go into the XAE first. XLE, rather. Let me bring up the contract first. So I bring up the crude contract. That rejected 67.35 today. Okay, let's take a look. Okay. Yeah, but see this, the volume's too high again. Last time we were down here was 270,000 contracts, you're 296. It did reject lower price at 67 though, but when you when you have that much volume, it's like, okay, you're going to be right back at it. XLE, we go into the XLE and we take a look at it. No, it's light volume. Yeah, okay, so this is saying, this is going to be interesting here, man, because this is saying, on the, even on the XLE, you know, this rejected 76.72 today. And you're coming into... 25 million with 13. That says it wants it's going to wants to go back to the top of the range. These ranges, folks, are so dynamite, man. It's unbelievable, you know. And we have them like almost all over the place in the marketplace. So I put if I put the weekly, you're going to see on the weekly you're talking about what 207 million. Then we tested it with 96. Now I only got 66. You can see this is yeah. You know, this has been coming down for quite some time, but this is saying it's getting tired. And it's also saying that more than likely you're going to see a pop. So that's, in that's encouraging. The XLF, we get into the XLF and take a look at the XLF here. XLF. That's coming into 65 million, you're only doing 25 million. We put this on a weekly. So you're pulling back with 151 million, going into 209. That's this is saying to me that you're gonna we're gonna rally into um, July 4th weekend, folks. That's how this is set up. That's the, the market set up like that. We just we just went through the XLE, the XLF, and the XLF in particular. If that wants to rally, man. You know, it doesn't have to rally match. I'm not saying to the moon, but it wants to rally to the top. The XLE looks to me like it's also going to rally to the top of the swing. The SPY and the X want to rally. What they want to do is that they want, they want to go at least test their highs. And what does happen, you know, coming into the July 4th weekend, it's, it's normally a, a very positive deal. You know, I don't know why, but I'm glad it is. But it, it's, you can see... But, well, let's do this on a weekly. I'm curious as to what happens here on a weekly. Yeah, see, on a weekly, on a weekly, you're coming into 387 million, 
and we're backing down with 284. You know, you get something like that, this high, it's a high volume high, it's laying out here at 443.90. It says it wants to get hit. I mean, you know. And if that's what we get, this is going to be like one of the shortest pullbacks that we've seen in a monster way. I mean, in a monster way. There's no doubt about that. Pull this up. The Qs. We put the Qs on a weekly. Same setup. The Qs are coming into... 258 million and you did 190 you know and we go back to the e-minis because it looks like this e-mini wants to he, he, did you see how it, it came down twice <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's like okay man now I want to go and I gotta see where I stand here man okay I sold there we go okay so you got you got the you got the spin on this, right? You, you see this E mini right now? And this is so the second time that we came down, right? See the second time that we came down here? Well, we first off, what you did is this. We, we rejected the lower price, right? And then this got tricky, because see how it came down again, but if you well, if you trade in today, and I, and I apologize if you you know getting sick of this, but I'd really like you to get how this works because it's pretty consistent. So as this came down on price, you only had 23,000 contracts going against 39. Now you just do the opposite. So you get eight minutes into it and now we're at 23. So this got to, and you pull over this side. So this needs more contract volume right now. That's how this is laid out. Let me do the NQs for a second. NQ. So you can see how this one lays out. Because I know we get a lot of future traders out here. If you're trading futures, man, this is totally where it's at. So, same setup. You come down with 9,400, yet you're going into 15,000. And now this one, you know, needs more volume. This is weak. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien! Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials uh, down 191, NASDAQ's off 130, S&Ps are off 31, and SpaceX. Okay, so uh, Elon, man, I'm telling you, it's pretty wild. So he's pushing out a tender offer on the SpaceX. And the first one, so let's see what it says here. He's, selling, he's offering to sell insider shares at a price that would value the SpaceX at $150 billion. That would be the most valuable U.S. startup, period. <laughs> um, what he did... He's looking to do. Uh, he's looking to take in 750 million on this tender offer. The 150 billion valuation would compare with 137 billion in January. So he raised money last January. Uh, this January. Let's see. We're in June, right? To January. He raised money in January at 137 billion dollar, and now he's going to raise it at uh, 150, and looking for 750 million. Man, they, they burned through some cash, though. Listen to this. This is wild, man. So, where is it? Oh, come on. They get $5 million. Is it? Hold oh, one second. Maybe it's $5 billion. No. Yeah. Oh, no. He has plenty of money, man. He does the kid around. Look at this, Look at this man. This is, this is pretty amazing. So... Yeah, I wonder how these big companies do this. Okay, so check this out, folks. The $150 billion valuation would compare with $137 billion reported in January when SpaceX raised $750 million from investors. SpaceX has $5 billion with a B on its balance sheet. So even though they have $5 billion on their balance sheet, they want to raise $750 million. It's, listen, man, what he does is always smart anyway, but the, the, that's so intriguing. Um, I guess he probably always wants to have a lot of money on his balance sheet, which is always smart because that's how it always works, folks, okay? When you don't need money, you know, it's a lot easier raising money. I mean, you can, you can imagine, I mean, just looking at that, it's like, okay, hold it, you know. I can see why he could raise that money pretty quickly, <laughs> and I'm sure he will. Um, SpaceX successfully deployed 50 additional satellites, uh, adding to the constellation it uses to beam broadband internet coverage to the Earth below. Investors are watching closely to see whether Musk will spin off Starlink. Starlink's a whole nother deal. I see, but he uses, he uses SpaceX to send up Starlink. Yeah, that's what's going on. The company sends payloads to for orbit for private sector customers as well as the National Aeronautics and Space Administration of the government agencies. It also ferries astronauts to the space station for NASA and has run its first private space tourism mission for civilians. And, and it basically has another deal with itself sending the, the Starlinks up there. So let's get back over to this S&P and see how this thing's working out. 
Okay, so we go to the futures. Now what you're going to be looking for, let's see where, okay, this bar is six minutes into this bar. Well, you can also see, see this last bar we did? It had the volume. See what just happened here? Volume was 29,000 contracts. Took out the bar before it with 23,000. Took out the bar before that with 27,000. That means it wants to go. It's going into only 21,000. That's what you want to see. You want to see it was 29 into 23. Let's go to the NQs. Yeah, the NQs have moved. Interesting. That's just, uh, yeah, the NQs haven't got over it yet. So right now, the, and then, uh, yeah, I'll just bring the SPY up in case you don't trade futures. You can do this in the SPY, too. It doesn't matter. You should see the SPY also. This bar here, let's see what it was. 1.7 million going against 1.8. Now, you need more. You're going to need more. This bar here has uh, 100 and... No, 1.09 right now. But the next bar only has 1.21 that you're coming into. So, And I'll go over to the continuous contract. What, there's a question about the continuous contract and oil. And my understanding, um, I'm going to put the, the, the volume up, but I don't believe that the volume's accurate on... Yeah, see, they're not. The, the, at least the volume that I have, Peter, uh, is not accurate on the continuous contracts. What happens, the reason, one of the reasons you put up a continuous contract is at least I know where the price is, where they string the prices along. But you can see there's no way we, these are all, oh no, hold it, one second. This is not the continuous, one second. CL1. CL1. Okay, so let me put this up. Hmm, I see. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay. So let me see what this question is again. Okay, look at the CL continuous contract. It looks like the volume is reflecting the Q contract end of quarter as well. Yeah, actually, when you, okay, so if this is accurate, yeah, you're coming down with lighter volume because that would be 299 versus, well, that's, that's what I think I said anyway. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is saying that you actually, you know, this wants to bounce. We have, the, the, the difference in the oil contract is that you didn't get a rejection of lower price yet. So you need the rejection of lower price with the volume contraction at the same time. That's how I kind of like these things setting up. Apple, let's go take a look at Apple. I, I love the new name, too, the Magnificent 7. <laughs> you got to love it, man. Now, Apple, look at this. I mean, this is, let's see, 187.21. So this is going over its high today. Like, check this out, man. This is sick. This is going over its high with 36 million shares versus 101. That is really bizarre. But guess what? That's the type of market that we're in right now. That's what it comes down to. And this is what you have to remember. So you got to remember this, too. The, because the inflationary period that we're in, the, well, just, just like this, okay? A, a dollar, um, I th I'm going to put this up when we come back. Just a dollar today is not worth what it was even three or four years ago. So when you look at it, that, that, that aspect, you gotta remember that the market will basically price in higher prices, but in fact, if we sold all our stock, we still couldn't buy as much. And that's something that you have to wrap your head around. And I know at the beginning, it's kind of tough to wrap your head around that, but if you saw what Zimbabwe did, I remember sitting right at this desk, man, watching Zimbabwe go to the moon. And I was like, what's going on? Well, you still, you, the, the stock market went up like thousands of points, but you couldn't buy anything, okay? So that, that's the tricky part about numbers.
Dow. Dow Industrial is down 217. Nasdaq's up 145. S&P's off 34. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrial is down 184, and Nasdaq's off 123. S&Ps are off 28. And if you look at this, it looks like they want to nail um, 434 folks in the SPY. And on option expiration, this is always challenging, man. You know, you can see this is, you know, you talk about white lightning. Um, if you don't understand, what, so white lightning was a term used a long time ago, folks, okay, when we traded OEX options. Now, the difference was the OEX only, this was only one day a month. Um, you know, now the bottom line is that, you know, you got it every single day, which is really cool. Well, look what it just did, though. Oh, my God. It just went from 70 to 45. So they're going to, they, they're well, we'll see how this shakes out. But it, it already just hit the 433.98. You get the volume going up. So my take is that it's gonna, they're going to try to nail the 434 at the close. And it, you know what's so wild, man? It's like there's so much money on this deal you know, because if you if if they pin it, it's called pinning it. The market makers themselves they're pushing this thing around so quick, and and, and you know you, you got bears and bulls on both sides. I mean, so the, the the bets are laid out on both sides. It's not like one has a bigger chance than the other. They don't. It's just that as you get closer to the you know four o'clock level, 
you know, the bottom line is that normally what side it's on, particularly on the, and this one here, I'm watching the volume. The volume's expanding right now as it's getting up there, you know, and they got plenty of time, man. You know, five minutes in the market is a huge amount of time, especially at the close, you know, because we'll end up happening. One side will throw it, throw it in and nail the other side. That's, that's kind of how it works. You give up one side, you go after the other side because your probability is that you might get it. So pretty wild. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks.